Hello and welcome to our today's lesson. In this lesson, I'm going to work on question four of unit two one of Cambridge Primary Mathematics Learners Book Three. And this unit is about Tolly chart and frequency table. You know that Tolly chart and frequency table are the tools that are used to record data. And Tolly chart is used to record the data on which we are working one by one. And frequency table is used to record the data to show how many times something occur. So the question here says, make a tally chart with a frequency table to show the information below. Use the title, favorite hobbies. So students are asked about their hobbies and there are, let me count, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. There are 12 students and they are asked about their favorite hobbies and they have said it. Now we have to show their favorite hobbies by using a tally chart and a frequency table. Let me draw the tally chart here because it's asking us to make both the tally chart and frequency table. I want to make it a bit wider. Okay. So here, the title for this tally chart and frequency table is favorite hobbies. Let me write it here. Favorite hobbies. Favorite hobbies. So here I will write hobby because we have to specify what are the different hobbies and then we have to write tally and then frequency. Now here I will show why tally chart is important. You know that tally chart is using marks to record the data and it is recording one by one. So let's start with the first one, which is said by the first student over here, it's painting. The first hobby is painting. So one of the students here has said his favorite hobby is painting and the other one is dancing. Let me make it a little smaller so that we can put all of them here, dancing. And one student here said dancing. And the other one is football. Football. So one for football. And we have another one which is reading. Reading. And one for reading. Again, we have another one which is football. Here also it's football. So we give one more tally for football. And one more here for reading. Reading. And the other one, again, we have reading. Again, we have over here, we have reading. So four readings. Again, we have football, football. Then we have painting. We have painting. Again, we have football, football. And we have reading one more over here. See how good Tolly chart is in recording data. We don't have to first find each one for painting or for dancing or for football, for anything. We can go step by step and record them as I did here. First, I did the painting, then I went to the dancing, then football, then, then reading. So we have four hobbies over here. Now we are asked to make a frequency also. How many times painting is repeated? It is repeated two times. So we have the frequency of two. And dancing is only one time. Only one student's favorite hobby is dancing. Football is four times. And reading is five times. I'm not sure if students were loyal in this case or not because most of the students don't like reading. However, uh, now we have three options here. The first one, which is option A says, how many children chose painting as their favorite hobby? How many children? We have two children which are having painting as their favorite hobby. So we can write two. One is here and the other one is here. Well, what is the most popular hobby? 
The most popular is the one which is chosen by the most number of the students. So it's for sure reading. So this is reading. What is the least popular? The least popular hobby over here is the one which is chosen by the least number of students. And that is dancing. Which most probably it is the opposite. Most of the students like dancing but not reading. Anyways, in part D it says discuss with a partner because you are working in the classroom you can discuss with your partner your students can be grouped and they can discuss with their partner and it says you are helping to organize an after school club how could the information from the toilet chart and the frequency table help you so as we see that most of the students favorite hobby is reading so we can have a reading comprehension test or a reading comprehension competition. So in this case, uh, the toilet chart shows that most of the students over here are interested in reading. So if you make a reading competition, so it finds out who is the best reader out there. And again, it says, what other things would you want to find out? What other things would you want to find out? So except for football, painting, reading, we may have something else also. We may have cooking. Whose favorite hobby is cooking? Whose favorite hobby is playing game? So there are many options that we can include over here. I hope it helps you how to work out this, I can say this experiment in which you have to make a trolley chart and a frequency table. Please make sure to subscribe to my channel so that you should not miss the coming videos and like the videos and share the videos with your friends, your classmates, and you are a student as well if you are a teacher. Have a nice time and thank you so much.